Let's say you're looking around in a particular corner of the internet and you're no fan of the Chinese government. You might quite easily fall under the spell of this man, Guo Wengui. Guo Wengui has been living in exile from China since 2014. He is said to be a former real estate mogul and a billionaire, a thorn in the side of the Chinese government and a man who has threatened to expose high-level Communist Party figures. Along with former Trump advisor Steve Bannon, he's launched his own media channels and a political movement, the new federal state of China. They claim their movement will one day replace China's government. And Gore says that when it does, a new cryptocurrency called Himalaya coin will replace the Chinese currency. The only problem is that this so-called new currency has a lot of red flags. First off, Guo Wengui claims this cryptocurrency is worth tens of billions of dollars. This would put HCoin among the top cryptocurrencies in the world, which experts say is hard to prove. We know Guo promotes the coin, but we don't know if he owns any himself. But he did file for bankruptcy in the United States earlier this year and claimed he has less than $100,000 worth of assets. And in the US last year, a review of other investment schemes that Guo's movement has promoted resulted in a settlement worth more than half a billion US dollars. While Guo has amassed a following worldwide, he has forged close relationships with several former members of Donald Trump's administration, and his followers have spread a range of fire messages on social media, including conspiracies surrounding the COVID-19 vaccine. Here he is speaking with Trump's former trade advisor, Peter Navarro, as well as Steve Bannon and Jason Miller, a former Trump spokesman. Miller now runs the platform Getter, which bills itself as a free speech alternative platform to Twitter. One way we that is that officially recognize new federal state of China. Thank you. I think it definitely would have to be sometime after 2024 when Trump takes the White House back. Himalaya coin, or HCoin, isn't like many cryptocurrencies that you might have heard of. It can only be bought and sold on its own special trading platform, Himalaya Exchange, and claims to have reached a market value of $43 billion. This claim is completely unverifiable, and who would believe it? Unfortunately, many people. And that's because of the way Guo's movement promotes his propaganda. I spent a lot of time, uh, I lost a lot of time, to follow him. Mr. Chiu was in a chat group with core Australian followers of Guo Wengui. Many person in Australia trust uh, Guo Wengui 100%. Under the banner of the new federal state of China, dozens of branches called Himalaya farms were established around the world. We've obtained chat logs from the messaging app Discord, where followers in multiple Himalaya farms organised to spread COVID-19 disinformation and pro-Trump messages during the pandemic. Within the Discord chats, we can see followers being instructed to like, follow and repost certain social media accounts to give them a boost. Followers are also organising to try and have posts critical of their movement or their leaders removed from Getter, which calls itself a free speech app we spoke to one former follower, Lisa, who just a year ago was fully immersed in these forums. She would only speak to us anonymously, given she has fears for her safety ever since she began speaking up against the movement. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit afraid, of, to be honest. To me, I think they're brainwashed. Totally brainwashed. Lisa says Gore painted a terrifying picture of COVID-19 and the Chinese government to further his agenda. Disinformation will frighten people. A lot of information frightens people. When people are frightened, they will be easily be cheated. Lisa says she sent almost $20,000 to overseas bank accounts in the United States and the Bahamas in an attempt to buy HCoin. But then she started to spot red flags, like the fact HCoin could only be traded in one place, unlike most other cryptocurrencies. But when she raised her concerns to Himalaya Exchange and the other Australian followers of Guo, she said she was labelled a CCP agent and lost access to Himalaya Exchange. I think it's yes, totally scam. Himalaya Exchange says all refunds have been properly processed. They also say they have no connection to Guo or Bannon. In the end, Lisa emailed her bank, but they said there was nothing they could do. 
I just want the Australian uh, bank, you know, I want the banks to protect us. Eventually, the overseas banks were able to refund some of Lisa's money, but she's worried others won't be so lucky. Lisa isn't the only one who sees the potential risks around HCoin. Financial investigator Ken Gamble took a look at Himalaya coin for the ABC. There was an enormous amount of hype, an enormous amount of extreme promotion, which is another red flag. Normally, these, the way these uh, operations are set up, they have uh, front people and they have spruikers, people who will uh, promote the site. Ken also noted the secrecy surrounding the platform where Himalaya coin is traded, the Himalaya exchange, especially who owns it. Sending money into a foreign bank account uh, to invest in, in any sort of coin um, is, is potentially um, you know, very dangerous and risky. Even though Guo has declared bankruptcy in the United States and is facing a deluge of lawsuits, he hasn't slowed down just yet. As for Lisa, she hopes one day more followers of Guo will wake up, leave the movement and speak out.